Um, I don't know how you follow that, but I guess there's only one person who can pull it off, and it's Dr. Volker Sontag, who is the Vice Chair Emeritus. Early in the relationship, uh, Dr. Spetzer and Dr. Sontag realized that they had some surprising connections. They were both born November 1944. They were both born in Germany, within 100 miles of each other, apparently. They both immigrated during childhood to the United States, and they were both married in 1974 to nurses. Please welcome Dr. Volker Sontag. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Terry. Thank you. I was asked to give a talk entitled The 34 Years Spetslosontek Duality, The Anatomy of a Unique so Alliance. <laughs> As you know, Robert and I have been working together, being colleagues, being the best of friends for 34 years. Both of us, as mentioned, started lives in Germany in 1944. He was born in South Germany, Bavaria. <laughs> and I was born in North Germany, Russia, about 100 miles apart. <laughs> Robert certainly thinks he is wiser and smarter than me, which is probably true. But I know for one thing, he will always be older than me. Many of you thought Robert and I would retire from surgery at the same time. That has worked the same amount of time. I stopped operating in 2010, and as you all know, Robert will hang it up in June of this year. However, if you analyze the data in more detail, we actually worked roughly the same amount of time. I never took Wednesdays off. He took all Wednesdays off. I vacationed two weeks a year, he vacationed six weeks a year. I uh, stopped working in 2010, he rolled in 17, so if you add it up all together, he actually worked 62 year, uh, days more than I did over the last 34 years. I. We were fortunate to team up together in 1983 and have supported each other, shared our friendship, and all along, built an institution we all know now as the BNI. I think this, yeah. Uh, uh, the Bureau Neurological Institute, or as it's better known as, Bobby's Neurological Institute. <laughs> when asked by colleagues, it's a little bit out of order. When asked by colleagues um, how, uh, how in the office, uh, how we get along or what we do to make us successful, this is what I get, got from my colleagues. We do not let our egos get in the way. We behave like gentlemen. We always have the best interest of the B&I, not the individual as the goal. After patient care, made education of residents and fellows and mentoring of faculty the primary goal. We have a common European German upbringing and married to very supportive, great uh, women, both nurses, and we have both great families. We share a lot of similarities, as you can see. We married the same months, the same year. We immigrated in the late 50s, as mentioned. We graduated med school the same year. We graduated uh, from residency the same year. And I must say, my chief of neurosurgery is here. But I'm very happy to have Dr. Ben Stein here, uh, who's also a very good friend of uh, Robert Spetzler. And then we formed the Neurosurgical Associates in 1983, Robert being the mem uh, director, and I was a member of that. We both were the honored guest of the Congress Neurological Surgeon, which most people think is the highest honor uh, received by a, by a neurosurgeon. And Robert will retire this year. I retired in 2010 from operating. As mentioned, uh, Robert uh, and I are competitive. <laughs> We're in sports. I, of course, get many, many Christmas cards. 
he gets many Christmas cards. <laughs> I have a pavilion. He now has a big new science tower. The pavilion is two stories. The science tower, of course, is six stories. <laughs> Here, the uh, water polo. We're playing Pac-Man. Wolkenstein, the backbreaker, versus Bobby, the pencil. <laughs> and here we're actually racing a 440 run together, or against each other. Uh, here I am as a spine surgeon, and Robert always uh, claims himself to be a vascular surgeon, but down deep heart, in his heart, he really wanted to become a spine surgeon. <laughs> we have opposites. I'm a Republican, he's a Democrat. I'm conservative, he's liberal. I speak Germanlish, he speaks both German and English. <laughs> I'm good looking, ah, uh, so so looking. <laughs> I do spine, he does vascular skull base surgery. For being a con uh, liberal uh, Democrat, he sure likes to hang out with Republicans. <laughs> Here he is with Ford with uh, Senator Kyle, who spoke so eloquently earlier as uh, the, the prayer. Here he is with Reagan, talking about conservative Republican. <laughs> here he is with Nancy. And here he is with John in the upper room, John McCain. I, I, I can't figure that out. <laughs> as uh, we like to travel uh, together, Robert, Nancy, Lynn, and I, here we are in Austria. You saw this, this is in Germany. This is uh, celebrating our 50th in Northern California. Here we are with our children going down the Grand Canyon River. Here we are with the Burroughs and the Hopkins uh, several years ago uh, in uh, uh, France bikes on a bicycle trip. And here we are in Italy. With his surgical skill and leadership, he made the BNI into a neurosurgical leader in education research and academia. Here we are in our early days operating together. In later days, operating here together. He made the BNI the premier neurosurgical institution in the country, if not in the globe. Together we emphasize education and being at the cutting edge of education and progress. This we expect in ourselves, our fellows, our residents, the nurses, and the administration. Here he is teaching, and our new um, president and CEO, Michael Larkin, as a resident, is on your far left. Together, we have trained more than 200 residents and fellows who are in academic neurosurgery in 60 training programs or in private practice. Incidentally, 85% of those 212 residents of fellows are in this room right now. <laughs> With Robert's leadership, the BNI became the largest and hopefully the best neurosurgical residency in the country. With Robert's leadership, we share a great relationship that we have with the Phoenix community the Burr Women's Board, the Burr Neurological Foundation, Celebrity Fight Night, the Lou Cobb Golf Tournament, and many, many others. With this leadership, together we emphasize family as the pillar of our being, our very existence. You see in this slide, this over, he has a fancy shirt there. Here he is in his young days in Cleveland uh, with the young David and Christina. Here you're having fun with Christina. This is an Easter picture, I think last year's Easter, with the family and the grandchildren. Here, I'm in, in Germany in 1952, I'm in the middle. Uh, here we are a, week, a year, after, uh, uh, a month after we came, immigrated to America. I have the very fashy polka dot shirt on. <laughs> and here's uh, my greater family with uh, uh, Stephen and uh, Chris uh, in this picture, and both of them attending uh, here tonight, and our grandchildren. The families, the two of families, the special sort, did a lot of adventures together. 
Here we're going down White, White River in our younger days when the children were young. Here, this is a uh, yearly tradition that we had at New Year's Eve. We spent many New Year's Eves together, the two families, and we always would line up depending on the height. And you can see Robert is on your right and Christopher is on your left. Over the years, Christopher can be taller and taller, and once Christopher became taller than Robert, no more pictures. <laughs> Together, we foster an environment that treats everyone as a colleague, an environment that emphasizes respect, honesty, hard work, and yes, hard play. Here's my 50th, and I'm getting a present from Robert. <laughs> Throughout the 34 years, we indeed worked hard, but also along the way, tried to have some fun to make this unbelievable journey a journey of friendship, work, and joy. It has indeed been my fortune and blessed fate to be part of the 34 year of the Spetzler Sontag BNI duality, which was and is a phenomenal, unique alliance. This has been. This has been part of an unbelievable, magical piece of neurosurgical history. Fate brought us together, both born in Germany 10 days apart, one in the north, one in the south. We came to America at similar times. We both went into neurosurgery residency at the same time. And we're fortunate enough to have been both married to phenomenal women, both nurses. And we both have great families. And then, from the moment we met, we forged an alliance and a friendship by building this neurosurgical powerhouse that will probably never happen again. We created a modern-day Camelot, now known as the BNI. Thank you all, and Robert, especially. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Sontag, no, no offense, but the Spetzler-Sontag duality, after watching some of those slides, almost sounds like it could be something that requires therapy. You guys have some serious issues. When you, when you bring slides out with the work days and, and digging deep into the whole chart, I'm like, some, some issues there. But I love what you all have done, and I am so glad I'm alive to witness everything that you both have accomplished. That was great. Thank you so much. Dr. Sontag, everybody. But I am going to use that. If I start getting competitive, I go, don't get all Spetzler Sontag on me. Don't get all competitive. <laughs>